Whiteford, Maryland contractor. A Jags All-Star representative. DJ went to the final last night in the All-Stars, your number four qualifier. And that is Chris Marshall in the right lane. Chris out of Division VI in the Western Region. Lives in Central Oregon, the auto body and paint shop owner. I uh, made the joke the other day. I think he left his wife at home to run the family business. He's out here looking for Brianna. It's just not, not backing up Chris. That is Chris Marshall's car in the right lane. He qualified number 13. Don't let that fool you. That's a national event winning program over there. Although Chris has not driven this car a whole bunch over the last season, season and a half. He has been campaigning the Lou Gasparelli special for Steve Gasparelli out on the West Coast and has done a fine job piloting that machine. But back behind the wheel of his familiar flame splattered on the, on the body, that is. He's the one to put it there. Machine in the right lane for Chris Marshall. Chris, your number 13 qualifier. DJ, your number four qualifier. To the Johnson's Horsepower Garage side of the racetrack. Here we go. First one off the line, Chris Marshall. DJ Cox has it made up by half track top end. Win light, DJ Cox, 555.9, 263 miles per hour. Chris Marshall left first. He was 048, makes an identical run to qualifying. I mean, 5.592 is exactly what he qualified at at 263 miles per hour is exactly what it qualified at. And by one hundredth of a second, it was not enough to knock off DJ Cox, who goes 555.9, slowed down a little bit from qualifying, 263 miles per hour, 066 up here on the starting line. DJ cleaned up whatever distracted him last night in the final of the Jags All-Stars. And DJ Cox is moving in to round number two at the Dodge Power Brokers U.S. Nationals. Round two of alcohol will happen a little bit later this afternoon following our final Camping World session and round number one of Pro Modified as well.